So the legislature passed a parent's bill of rights that I signed into law about a month and a half ago and laid down the law in the state of Florida is that parents have the fundamental right to raise their children, their health and well-being, uh, and that that has to be respected by the state at all levels of government. Uh, and so it's our belief that, that this should be a parent's choice. I think it flows directly from that bill, and I think we'll end up winning uh, to do. At the end of the day, as a parent, you know, I would like that choice. Um, I, for, particularly for young kids, many of these kids, by the way, have recovered from COVID, and so there's really no giant scientific justification to put it on at that, at that point if there, if there is to begin with. But uh, I think a lot of the parents would just want to have that ability. I know we, we, you know, they've had all this time to study. What are the harmful effects of putting a kindergartner in a mass for seven hours? Have they talked about the emotional, the academic, the physiological? Why isn't CDC studying that? They've had a lot of time to do it, uh, but yet you don't do it. And to act like somehow that this is just something that we shouldn't worry about, um, I don't think is acceptable. So I think the fairest thing to do is just say let parents make the decisions. I can tell you from having a whole school year under our belt, because you remember we were the only large state that had five days a week in person from the beginning of the school year for the whole year. We had uh, about 60 percent of school districts in Florida had mass requirements. About 40 percent did not. Most of the charter schools did not have those requirements, and most private schools did not. Uh, there's no, actually, the, the, the no mask mandate counties had lower per capita cases. Uh, so certainly you can't uh, show any type of causal relationship there. And so we did that. I mean, we had the whole school year, and you can look at all these different jurisdictions and see, see how it was performed. So, so we believe that the Parents' Bill of Rights was a good bill to sign, and we believe because the legislature passed that, um, providing parents with this choice uh, flows directly from that. And we think we'll win. 